Hey there, real quick, before we start this episode, I want to invite you to sell more of your digital courses with Facebook and Instagram advertising, a free masterclass I'm hosting on Wednesday, the 30th of September. In this masterclass, I'll take you through how to leverage your advertising to start selling more of your courses, memberships, services, or programs. Join me live on the 30th of September by going to www.newschoolofmarketing.com to sign up. Right, now that said, let's get started. Welcome to the New School of Marketing podcast, the place for smart, simple strategies that will amplify your business results. Sharing practical tips, insider knowledge and actionable advice because marketing is something that every business owner can do. Now, let's get started. Introducing your host, Bianca McKenzie, mum, lover of snow sports camping, horse riding, and in-demand launch strategist and Facebook advertising knowledge bank. Welcome to another episode of the New School of Marketing podcast. I hope you're well and ready for another practical marketing episode. So a few weeks ago, I spoke to someone who is thinking about outsourcing their Facebook ads And after we spoke and talked through all the numbers, it became quite clear that she wasn't quite ready to outsource her ads yet. Outsourcing her ads management to us right now would mean that she wouldn't be seeing a return on ad spend because there were a few things that she needed to do first. So today, I want to talk to you about whether or not you should outsource your Facebook ads and if so, when you should do that. I have a lot to say about this, so let's dive right in. Firstly, I want to repeat something that I say quite often and I feel the need to say it again, basically. Facebook ads amplify. This means that whatever is already happening in your business, your sales funnel results or with your online store sales will merely be amplified by Facebook ads. So if you're ready for that to happen, then Facebook ads can be the right move for you. Now, let's look at whether you should run your own Facebook ads or if you should outsource them. Of course, it really depends on a number of factors. Things like your understanding of Facebook ads and the ads platform, your interest in learning Facebook ads, the amount of time you have to set up your ads and manage your ads, your advertising budget, but also your budget for a management fee. And these are all straightforward and you've probably thought about them yourself. But regardless of any of these things I've just mentioned, there are other factors that determine whether or not you should outsource your advertising and that's what I want to dive in deeper today. So here is what you need to consider before outsourcing your ads. Number one is the average order value of your product or service. So why is the average order value important? Well, because it's incredibly hard to make your money back on your ad spend and on an ads management fee if your average order value is low. Generally speaking, I don't recommend outsourcing your ads if your online program membership or service is priced below $500. If you run an e-commerce store, it's a little bit more flexible, but I still recommend a minimum average order value of around $100. Now, it's not impossible to get a return on ad spend and cover the fee for your ads manager with a lower price product or service, but everything needs to work in your favor for you to make a return on investment. Even if you can get a return on ad spend and cover your fee for the ads manager, there's often not much left for you, which is probably not your intention for running ads. So to be able to get a return means that your conversion rates need to be higher than average and your funnel or your online store need to be absolutely watertight and highly optimized to drive sales and to convert over and over. Which brings me to the next point, number two, is your conversion rate. So when we take on Facebook advertising clients in our agency, we take them through a a pretty thorough process before accepting them as clients to make sure that everything is going to work in their favor and everything is set up to get the highest possible conversion numbers and return on ad spend. One of the most important numbers for us 
is the conversion rate on a funnel or an online store. So when we know the conversion rate and when we know it's consistent, we can pretty much calculate the outcome of the Facebook ads campaigns and almost predict what the client can be expecting in return. So if your offer isn't yet converting consistently and your numbers are up and down or below certain benchmarks, you should keep refining what you do until you hit the sweet spot of, of consistent conversions. So in episode number one, I speak about how to determine whether your business is ready for Facebook ads and which numbers to consider. So we use certain benchmarks and processes in our advertising agency to determine whether the client is ready for Facebook ads. And our standards are quite high, but this means that we're in a better position to deliver results for our clients. Some of the benchmarks that we like to see are um, a minimum 2% conversion rate for e-commerce stores with an average order value of $100 or more. And if you have um, a course creation business or a service-based business where you need to get leads, we aim for a 40% or higher conversion rate on lead magnet landing pages. So we actually aim for 50% or higher, but in certain industries, this can be quite challenging. Some experts say that a 20% conversion rate is good and for some industries it actually is, but we like to aim for much higher numbers. Another benchmark is a minimum 1% to 3% conversion rate of online course sales with a course price of at least $500, preferably higher. So all of these figures are dependent on the groundwork and foundations that our clients have put in place and they can vary a bit for different industries but as a general rule we like to see these numbers. So you need to build the foundations of your funnels or online store and then do the maths to figure out whether outsourcing is going to get you a return on investment or if it's actually wiser to manage your own advertising campaigns for now. You can start by creating a spreadsheet and look at your conversion rate on a month by month basis. Or if you have an online course or membership that you launch a number of times a year, you need to know your conversion rate for each of these launches. You want to have enough consistent data to be able to, in a way, predict the outcome of your Facebook ads. The more data you have, the more predictable the process becomes. Once you have all your numbers, you, consider, you can consider all the other factors. So these are the things that I mentioned before. Your understanding of the, plat the ads platform, for example. This, of course, is something that you could learn if you don't have a good understanding of it right now. There are plenty of courses around that teach you the ropes, including my own online courses, which I'll link to in the show notes. The other thing is your interest in learning Facebook ads. You're probably aware that I absolutely love Facebook ads but I know not everyone does. So this is something you'll need to weigh up yourself and decide whether Facebook ads is something you can and mostly want to learn yourself. My recommendation is that everyone who outsources their ads knows at least the basics of Facebook advertising and what goes into it before they hand it over to someone else. Because knowing a little bit about it means that you're in a better place to hire a competent and experienced ad manager and not a doozy. I know, this, I know this sounds super hard, but I've seen so many cases of people who have handed over their precious ad spend to someone who gladly took their money but didn't deliver results. And I really feel for them. So my philosophy is that Facebook ads should always give you results. And whilst it isn't always a return in ad spend, it should then at least give you data that will help you improve your business so that you can confidently invest in the ads the next time around. So at a minimum, take a Facebook ads course or ask your ads manager to walk you through what they did and what it means so you know the basics and you know what to expect and where to find certain information inside the Facebook ads manager dash dashboard. The other thing to consider is the amount of time you have available to set up and manage your Facebook ads. I'd love to say that you can set up your ads and forget about them, but they're definitely not a set and forget type affair. You'll need to keep an eye on your ads results regularly to make sure your ads are doing what they're supposed to be doing. 
This doesn't mean that you need to be glued to your computer and check on them every second, but you do need to set some dedicated time aside every few days to check in and possibly make changes. The other thing you need to consider is your advertising budget and a budget for your ads manager if you're considering to outsource. Experienced ad managers often require a minimum ad spend of at least $500 a, a month or more because this allows us to do testing, which is important to get your results with Facebook ads. We are so incredibly passionate about managing your ads and want them to be successful. So it's important that we are given the resources to get you the best results, which in includes a reasonable budget to get your ads started and optimized. The higher your ads budget, the more we can actually achieve, providing that your conversion rates are where they need to be, which is something a good, good ads manager will check with you before you start with them as a client. So if you have a small budget, I recommend that you start by running your own Facebook ads and keep that money to yourself for now and grow it with Facebook ads. We, as in ads managers, can do a lot of incredible things, but we're not magicians. We can't turn a $5 a day ad spend into a six figure return in a month, especially not if we're starting at zero. At least I've not seen it happen before and I've been in the game for a while. So be realistic. And if you know your conversion numbers and your cost per lead or your cost per sale, you'll be able to run some predictions to see what Facebook ads can do for you. If you're not quite ready to outsource your ads, don't let it hold you back from running ads completely. Just because you're not ready right now doesn't mean that you won't be able to outsource in the future. Many of our clients started where you are right now by running their own Facebook ads first. If you're nervous about running your own Facebook ads, find a course that has your back and offers you a support group to ask questions and work through issues. I do this for both my Facebook ads for online stores course and my Facebook ads for list building and launching course. I'll pop the link in the, in the show notes so you can take a look for yourself. So remember, I am running a free masterclass on how to leverage Facebook advertising to sell more of your online courses, memberships, services, or programs on the 30th of September. Head on over to newschoolofmarketing.com to register. That's it for today. I know it's a lot to take in. Thank you so much for joining me. If you're ready to take your business to the next level with Facebook and Instagram advertising, make sure you visit newschoolofmarketing.com to download practical free resources, plus subscribe to the podcast and never miss an episode. I can't wait to go on this journey with you. Until next time, take care and market your business every day. Bye.